I have a son who's now 22 years old, uh, and he was diagnosed with ADHD uh, third grade, which is when a lot of boys are diagnosed. By fifth grade, it was clear that he was going to need a little more help in school. Things were starting to spiral in a way that made us very uncomfortable. He was very unhappy. Uh, he, he wasn't really fitting into the schools that he attended. She was being bullied. It wasn't working out, and we chose to remove her from a school she had been in for a fairly long time. Some of the experiences she has had have been experiences that nobody wants to go back to. And she was going back to these experiences every day. And she lost a lot of confidence. His frustration levels uh, before he went to SOAR were, had a, had a very, very short uh, attention span and, and, and temper. We, we were at our wits end when, when, uh, when Zach first came to SOAR and he told us on a, no uncertain terms, he was done. It's we parents that have uh, been fortunate enough you know, to be introduced to SOAR and what they offer for kids you know, with LD, you know, ADHD, ADD. It's a blessing. It really, truly is. SOAR has a very important mission. It provides a service to um, an underserved community. I believe in their purpose. I believe in what they do. And I have seen many children through my lifetime as a special educator come back and see the difference in their lives and in what they have learned. It all started with that one year that he spent at SOAR and that, that, that became an important part of his continuing education. I'm the most proud at seeing Lily be comfortable in her own skin. And I think Lily likes who Lily is now and Lily knows that who Lily is is not okay, it's awesome. Six years and seeing this guy, you know, grow and mature, and his uh, independence and self-confidence and social interactions, we've seen an incredible change, you know, over the years that Chris has been coming to SOAR. But in the end, watching him give his graduation speech and, and talk to other students, and you know, just reiterate to them that that through the strategies, through the capabilities of SOAR. Uh, that, that the only thing that was stopping them was, was them themselves. Uh, and so watching him give that talk uh, was, a, was a pretty proud moment. So what began as an after-school program in Houston, Texas, is now the largest summer camp in the world that serves this population of kids. What blossomed into a summer camp then became a school, uh, a residential boarding school for these kids because it's, it's what parents were asking us to do. And so you keep asking, we keep trying to find opportunities. And the only way we can do that though, the only way we can make that happen is through gifts and, uh, and, and your, your willingness to continue to invest in us. SOAR is undertaking its first capital campaign so that the campus facilities can be improved and so that for the first time SOAR can draw on an endowment fund to provide services to families who might not otherwise be able to afford it. I envision a world in which uh, the financial limitations do not limit uh, an individual's achievement. So to the extent that endowment funds can be used to provide those services to families who can't afford it, that improves the lives of all of us. It means that we're educating all of our children uh, not, not just the ones who either can afford the, the, the benefits or who thrive in more traditional envir educational environments. Donors are important because we don't all have an income that we can share with others. And once in a while, you bump into someone who really understands how hard it is to raise a child who is a little different. They're high cost kids and money is needed. I would love to see us be able to bring in those youngsters that we so often see and in our heart know have great needs, but their family situations, their everyday lives, they are just on the cusp of survival. 
And we know they don't have the amount of money necessary to make this kind of change in their life. But if we can reach out to that population, one by one, we'll make a difference. And in total, we'll change the world.